Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look. Um, I did use a lot of products from Pixie. They did send me a PR package and I, it was a good cute little box with a lot of products that I wanted to try out. Um, so I threw away the box because I did film a tutorial using all the products that they sent me. But the footage wasn't like perfect so I didn't want to post it. It would just look very blurry. I don't know why the camera did that but it played me. So I'm here again filming a different look but a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of the products that they sent me out. All my thoughts on the products are, you know, real. They're what I think. They didn't tell me to say anything. They just sent me out the products and yeah. So I did use some of the products that they sent me out. I still have other products that I didn't try out on this video just because, like I said, I um, did it a little bit more dramatic than last time. Last time the video was more concentrated on Pixie, but today I had things to do, so I decided to be a little bit more glam and yeah so i hope you guys like this video um don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already okay so i already moisturized my skin with the um h2o plus beauty oasis hydrating treatment so i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit longer so now i'm gonna go ahead and spray some of the aqua defense this is the shielding matcha facial essence I love spraying this on my face like I just love it so now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna fill my brows and for my brows I'm gonna go ahead and use um so for my brows I'm gonna go ahead and use the elf dip brow pomade I believe that's what it's called um it's lock on liner and brow cream so you could use this either as a liner or a brow product so that's what I'm gonna use it um, this is very inexpensive, so if you don't want to spend the money for a dip brow from the Anastasia dip brow, you could go ahead and just purchase this. I'm going to fill my brows very quickly, just, um, with this. So that's all how I fill my brows. Um, I don't really do much to them, um, since they are, I don't really do much to them, just kind of fill the end. And I go very light-handed. I don't really like my brows to look so over, like, you know, like, very drawn in. So, I like kind of, like, some sparse areas. I'm not sure if you guys could see. Like, there's a little few sparse areas. Just where you guys could see, like, my hair through with the dip brow. I don't like, like, really drawn in brows. At least not on myself. So, that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and clean my brows. And I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer. And I'm just going to clean the bottom part. Um, I don't really do the top part anymore because I feel like that just makes it look a little bit more um, like filled in and too harsh. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the bottom part. And also because I haven't done my brows. So... And I like to blend it in to my eyelid. So I drag the concealer down to nicely blend it. And I use my finger for this. I feel like with a brush I take longer. So I'll just go ahead and use my ring finger. And get in there. So I'm going to go ahead and set my um, primer with some translucent powder. And I'm just using this fluffy brush to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade right here. Uh, it's like a very light peachy color. And I'm going to apply this into my crease as my transition color. Um, I've been trying out the shadows. I actually created a look with this shadow palette not that long ago. I don't know what happened. Like the footage didn't look right. So I just didn't feel like posting it. So, but I can tell you guys that this shadows blend. Rude. But I could just tell you guys that the shadows blend super nicely. Um, and they're very affordable. I I, they're very affordable. I believe this little palette is like 12 bucks, And you do get six shades. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, and they're all matte shadows. And like I said, they blend, they blend very nicely for a drugstore product. Um, because Pixie is sold um, at Target, I believe. Only at Target and like on their website. But yeah, like they just blend super nicely. So... The look that I had created, I posted a picture on my Instagram. And I really like how it came out. 
but I'm not gonna recreate that look just because today I have other things to do and like I want a little bit more glam on my eyes so but I still wanted to show you guys how easily they blend and how pretty they look you guys they blend very nicely like I feel like this is a very nice palette for like on the go and also like just for like an everyday use so this palette is awesome and this one it's the sunset mattes so really pretty shadow and i'm just gonna jump into red ochre um and i'm just gonna apply that on my um inner corner of my eye and the inner corner of my eye i'm gonna do a halo eye i honestly had no idea what I wanted to film I just know I wanted to film today because it was my day off and usually I film on my days off so I'm just gonna drag it so I put it in the inner corner and the outer corner and I'm gonna like drag it into the crease just where it could blend a little bit nicer and I'm going back and dipping into a red ochre just to build up that color And I'm just going back into my other eye brush and just blending it out even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my Maybelline Mini Silly Mini Silly. <laughs> mini city palette and then this is in the downtown sunrise so it looks like this the thing that i liked about this palette the most was this shadow right here i thought it would be perfect for like i don't know i just thought it was pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this um dark brown shadow right here and i'm just gonna slightly put that um in the outer part of my eye just to create more dimension you know So now I'm going to go ahead and grab concealer and I'm just going to um, put this like in the center of my eye just for the color could stand out even more. The shadow that I'm going to put in the center. So I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer with translucent powder and I'm using my airspun for this. Uh, And I'm going to go back to my brush and just kind of blend those edges out. Grabbing more of that red ochre. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this pink fiery looking shade right here from the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and wet my brush. And for the brush, I'm using this very precise um, flat brush. This is from, um, I think it's like Vanity Planet. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll link it down below. It's a full, it's like a little brush set. So I'm just going to jump into the color. And this color is very pretty. It has like gold reflex and it's like burgundy pink. I don't know, I just think it's really pretty. So I'm just going to um, apply this onto my lid. Where that white um, space was. That color that we created for it. So that's pretty much it for the eyes for right now. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. And for primer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Pixi um, by Petra Flawless and Poreless Primer. This primer is really good. I actually really, really liked it. 
Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna use this amount and I'm just gonna put it like on my problem area, which is my T-zone. And I did notice that this primer actually helps me stay matte and it also helps me with my pores. So it makes everything look super smooth. And like a lot of people have noticed like noticed it on me too because they always ask me like what primer are you using because it looks so smooth. I've been using it for like two weeks now. No, like like a week. Um, almost two weeks. So for foundation, I'm actually going to use my CoverGirl BB Cream. I really like this BB Cream. I feel like it keeps me matte throughout the day. So I'm going to use this. And um, I'm actually running out already. Like, like I'm almost out. Um, but I use it in the shade medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. Um, I do the reverse contour with it. So basically just kind of clean everything up on the sides and it actually looks a little bit more natural in a way. So that's what I'm doing right here. So once I'm done pressing it down, I'm gonna grab my bronzer and you guys already know which bronzer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my Mac Gimme Sun. And I'm using a stippling brush just because I feel like it's a little bit more natural looking um, and like less harsh. So let's bronze up because I look bien pálida right now. I look super white. So let's bronze up. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cleaned up right here just cuz I want to look slim you know cuz los tacos no me dejan tener nice cheekbones so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that you don't have to come all the way down here but it just kind of helps me even it out make everything look even um so that's what I'm doing here. And this will just make your contour look a little bit more sharp. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish the bottom lashes. I'm just going to apply the same shadows I applied on my crease to my bottom lash. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, the Pixie Waterline, I define Waterline, um, so I'm going to Waterline, put this on the upper Waterline and the bottom. So this is very pigmented and very, it glides like very smooth, so I do like that about it. Um, I don't know how long lasting it is, I did try it last time but I didn't like pay attention to how long it lasted on the waterline but today I will and I'll let you guys know because my eyes like as you guys can see they're already like very watery um I do wear contacts so I feel because of that they water so much and I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the large large <laughs> the large lash mascara by Pixie and I'm just gonna coat my top lashes this mascara is actually pretty good um and it has like like the bristles are like hairs it's not like a plastic wand so I know a lot of people like prefer those so so I apply lashes off camera and I use the Coco Lashes and Goddess no Queen Bee Queen Bee um so those 
are the lashes that I'm wearing. I really, I really, really like these lashes. I feel like they're so pretty, so wispy and long. Uh, I haven't used them in a while, so I'm like obsessed right now. So for lips, I'm debating if I should do like a nude because you know of the drama in the eyes, or if I should just be extra dramatic and do like a burgundy lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a lip liner. I almost forgot, but I need a highlight, so I'm going to go ahead and use the um, Fuego Highlighter by Kate, um, Desi and Katie. And, uh, where's my brush? So I'm going to go ahead and just wet my brush a little bit. And then dip into the highlight. So for the last step, I'm going to go ahead and use my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. Um, I actually really like this makeup setting spray. They did send me one, but I already had one of my own. And I've been trying it out for like a month now. More than a month. Probably like two months. Um, I did take it to Cancun and I thought it was like, it worked awesome on me. It keeps me matte. It just makes my makeup look really smooth and like everything blended into my skin. So I don't look like powdery or cakey at all. And it has um, rose water and green tea. A lot of people like that. Uh, I'm a big fan of rose water. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face. And let that sit in. And it actually does make my makeup last a little bit longer. I've noticed that. Um, and then for the final step, you don't have to. But, as you know, I'm kind of extra. So, I'm just going to highlight my cupid bows and my elbows just to give it a little something something as you know um, but yeah this is the final look i hope you guys liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already